Hello guys, Mr. Digital J here and welcome to the first of probably many, many videos on the new channel. Uh, I did mention on my Twitter and Facebook, if you are following me straight away, if you are, thank you very much. Um, that my first video was probably going to be a setup tour. Uh, I thought this was a great idea, to, um, so you get to know how I record my things, um, what equipment I use, uh, my actual layout. And yes, this is the floor, so we're going to start off on the floor. Uh, we'll work our way up through the room. Just a quick reminder, I do live in Britain, so if it's quite dull and it looks like a draining outside, it's because it probably is. Right, so from the door, bit of mind not the best of these videos, and it is on my phone as my camera is broken, so I do apologise if it's a bit cheeky and the quality is a bit low. By the door, we have a couple of boxes of things, well, they're empty. We have our old TV there. Uh, it's an old 23 inch uh, LG Full HD 1080p telly, which I used to use a monitor and a telly. As you can see there, I don't know if you can actually see that, it is a monitor and a TV, which is good. And the good thing about this phone as well, it's got full manual focus. Um, you can see over there, there's a bin. I've just, just emptied for this video. The box of my new addition to everything, my Xbox One, finally, I bought one. I know it's been off for a while, but I finally have one, um, and I will have content on that as well. Down here we have the box, I don't know if you can see that, the box of my Logitech Dragon Force GT. Another addition to the gaming rig, sorry, I'm going to actually over here so you can have a quick look at it. It's a full 900 degrees wheel each way, as you can see, full, feed, uh, full force feedback. Um, I can't remember the actual dimensions of the wheel, but it's very good. Little sequential shift on the side there, and the pedals are actually down there. No clutch, but it's not the most expensive one in the world, but it does exactly what I wanted it to do, and it's absolutely amazing. Out here, I have got my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro tablet out, just for you to have a quick look at. It's a 10.1 inch uh, tablet. Runs Android, I can't remember what version of Android it runs. Um, it's an octo-core processor in it, I think, which is very good. It's got, I think it's got 2 gig of RAM. Um, super AMOLED um, display. If I say AM a lot, I do apologise. It's just the way I talk. It's got an 8 meg camera on the front there with... Uh, what's the word? Flash. <laughs> and it's got a... I think it's got a 2 meg camera facing the user. Moving along, we have the bed, as you can see. Nothing special. We have a little desk over here with a little night fan, some headphones, an air freshener, and a clock which I've had for god knows how many years. Moving along to coming towards the desk now, we have my office chair, which is a reaching chair, a replica. I can't remember the actual brand of it. Um, if I can find it again, I'll leave it in the description. All the things I use and I've bought, I will leave in the description as well as the specs of the computer when we get to that. Moving up now, we have a poster of New York. I got this purely because it has Mountain Dew on it. Um, and it just brightens up the room a bit, so you can see this room has a black wall, a white wall, and a white wall over there as well. Two posters there as well, by the way. Probably saw me there as well. Um, so yeah, I'll just brighten that up a little bit. I have a pop vinyl flash. Those pop vinyls are pretty cool. I like them. I forgot to show you the games as well over here. I've got games and things, homemade to pay for colas up there. Made them a while ago. DVDs, games, cans. Finally got a stack of Xbox One games, even though I've only got two. Down here, I have the tripod off the camera that I would use, but the lens is broke on that. So I would keep the tripod obviously and use it for something else. And now, if we move over here to the masterpiece of the room, let's give you the tall view of that. Just so you can see it. And we'll move it in from this side and see what happens. So as I said before, you can't see nothing because the sun is so low. I do apologise. I'll try and stand in the way. Here you go. As you can see, the Xbox One sits in all its glory on the end of the desk. Obviously with the standard part, nothing too special. I have my mixer and amp for my old speakers. 
the subwoofer is actually under the bed, one of these beds, the top lifts up, not on the hatch, and not a hatch, the hinge, and the speaker over there, and uh, no, 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 no. um, um, what else have we got? So, we'll move over to the desk now, uh, somehow I just received a phone call by videoing. What I'll be doing when recording with my voices is this blue snowball mic. It's not blue, but that's the name of it. Very good, high condensed mic, very good quality. It just goes there out the way. Move on to the mouse, which is a rocket. Uh, it's a Cone Pure. Yeah, Cone Pure Hellfire Red Edition. That's fully ID green changes, but I'll just leave it on blue. We have the Razor Black Widow. Tournament edition, which only focuses the camera. Um, and the reason I got the tournament edition was because purely I do not use the numpad very much, so I just thought, well, the smaller one was better. Another pop vinyl for you there. We have my external hard drive there, which is a one terabyte Western Digital. We have now TV, which is like on demand tally, Netflix, and on demand channels catch up and whatever, 32 gig memory stick, which you're probably not bothered about. And that all sits on top of this, which is my custom built gaming computer. Uh, I can quickly run through the specs um, while I take the side panel off. So we'll go for a picture and cut here and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have the side off the computer now. I don't want to move it because all the wires are on the back there, you can see. Probably can't see that, but it's in a very tight position. I don't want to move anything just in case anything breaks or falls or I lose a wire. But I quickly run through it. Processor is an i5 4460. Yes, I know it's not the most powerful processor in the world, but at the time it was very, very cheap. Sitting on an Asus Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard, which is a very good motherboard. As you can see, it's got loads of SATA ports, it's got Compatibility with I think three or four graphics cards. I can't remember. It's got the Supreme FX built-in amplifier there, which is very good. And um, power supply is a Corsair CX 430M modular power supply. Uh, again, the M was the cheapest at the time. Uh, it was somehow cheaper than the non-modular one, so I thought, hmm, I'll get that one. And um, 16 gigs of Kingston HyperX Beast. Uh, DDR3 RAM. It's not the fastest in the world, but I can overclock it very easily. Um, so it's set to quite high at the minute, I think. Um, Cooler is a Cooler Master Hyper T5 something. It's quite an old one, but again, it was cheap at the time. Um, I think that's a 120mm Pit Phoenix fan. There's another fan in the front, and this whole cover comes off. Um, Graphics card is a EVGA GTX 750 Ti Super Crocked. It's like the super duper top one of that model. Couldn't get any better than that one. And they got a 2 gigabyte GDDR5 graphics card. Handles pretty much anything I throw at it on Ultra. All very, very high. Uh, and this motherboard supports 4K as well, which is good. We have a 120 gigabyte SanDisk SSD Plus. For purely for Windows and Sony Vegas, and that's all I use on that. It's got quick release drive cage, none of this fancy messing around when you're driving. And there you go. We have a one terabyte Western Digital Blue purely for storage, and another 500 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda out of my old computer again for storage. Games mainly go on this one, and programs mainly go on that one. I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> And um, it's got USB 3s on the front and on the back, and it's got four four USB 3s on the back. And um, I think and it's got one on the front, which is really good because that's USB 3 up there, which is really good. So you get ridiculously fast transfer rates. Um, it's my pride and joy. I've wanted to build a computer for a long time. If I really wanted to, I could easily swap out the i5 for an i7, no problem. This motherboard supports that as well. So. There will be no big changes there. That would probably be the only thing I would change at the minute, but it runs fine at the minute. Um, and the last thing we will look at will obviously be the newest edition, 
which is probably as the nose it isn't, is the monitor slash TV that I use. It is. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? You can see it. It is a Samsung 32 inch, I think it's an LED TV. Um, as you can see, the picture goes to the very edge of the screen. See, on this one, it, you can't really see that. It's quite flat. The plastic around the edge is quite flat. But on this, it, it's deceiving. It looks a lot bigger than it actually is, purely because the edge of the screen is so thin all the way around. And obviously, as you can tell, it's mounted on the wall. So what we can do is, I'll just quickly show you like that. We can pull it out, we can swivel it, we can go that way, we can go that way. Normally, when I play with the Logitech wheel, I do have a table that goes here. So what I will do is, when I want to play on the wheel, I will pull the telly out as far as possible. I will sit right here, and obviously you can't really tell on screen how big it actually is. But, when sitting here playing games with the wheel, it's very, very good. Um, and it does swivel up and down as well, with a little a latch on the back there. You just unlock that and it swivels up and down as well. So you get the perfect viewing angle. And it goes flat against the wall where it sits when I'm not using it. So, I think that about covers everything. Unless I get something else or if I get something else, which I'll edit it in. But that is the gaming slash room setup. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. There will be all kinds of games to come in the future. Uh, I can't wait to get cracking. Um, I've just finished doing my intro and outro, finally. So, I hope to see you all in the next video. God knows what it's going to be. Um, but I'm sure the ride will be rather fun. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. Peace.